This time I'm going to show you how to make a space station. When you're finished with it, you can hang it from the ceiling in your room. Now it's time to get ready. First of all, you'll have to print the five pages from our website. Here's what they look like. Once you've printed out the five pages, then it's time to get ready with what you'll need. You'll need tape, scissors, a pencil, glue stick, and Elmer's glue all. In addition, you're going to need a paper towel roll and three toilet paper rolls. In addition to that, you'll need an empty cereal box, plus two wooden skewers that your folks can buy from the store. And it's always a good idea to have a couple of napkins or paper towels to wipe off the glue. Now we're going to get started. Take your cereal box and open both ends and then what I want you to do is take your scissors and cut down a corner of the cereal box to the end and lay it open. Then cut the pre-folded corners all the way to the end on each segment of the cereal box just like this. Once you're done with that, take your paper towel roll and set it along one of the thinner parts you've cut out. Take your pencil and draw around the end of it so it makes a circle on the piece of cardboard. Then take the other thin piece and make five more circles on that. Now you can take your time, it doesn't have to be perfect, and just cut out each circle until you finally have nine pieces of cardboard circles. Now you can take the page that has the hatches on it and also the European segment and Japanese segment. Cut along the dotted lines on that and we'll use that later. Right now we're going to go ahead and cut out nine of these hatches. Now take your time on this. It can be a little frustrating, but just take your time and slowly kind of work your way around each circle until you cut out nine of these hatches. Now the next thing is I want you to use a piece of paper to protect the surface you're working on. Put a round piece of cardboard down and then a hatch you've cut out. I want you to use the glue stick to put glue on the back of the hatch and then glue it to the cardboard circle. Do that for all nine pieces. Now for the next segment, what we're going to do is put holes in five of the hatch pieces. To do that, I want you to get a thick piece of cardboard and lay one of the circles on top of that. Use a ballpoint pen just to punch a hole right in the middle of that. You have to kind of press hard to make it work. Now the next thing is to take a wooden skewer, cut off the tip of it so it doesn't hurt you, and then push it through that hole to widen it. Also, you can use a pencil to expand the hole a little bit further. Now we're going to take a toilet paper roll and the paper towel roll and join them together. Just use some scotch tape and do the best you can on that. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it as tight as you can and then put tape all the way around to join the pieces together. Next, take the glue wall and use the pieces with no holes in it, just two of them. Put a circle of glue around the inside and then just press it against one end of the space station. Now to keep it in place you'll need about four pieces of tape to hold it in place. Now what I want you to do is do this to both ends of this space station section. Next we're going to use a toilet paper roll. Now take the glue and put some glue around one end. Be sure to use the hatches with the holes in them. Glue those into place on both ends of this toilet paper roll. It's a good idea to let them dry for a long time. Now it's time to take the American segment. All you have to do is cut along the dotted line on one side to cut it out. Once you've done that, go ahead and take your larger space station segment. Now you notice two of the dots are near the flag on one end. What I want you to do is tape those with three pieces of tape onto one end of that space station, wrap it around, and then tape it in three places on the other side. Now what I want you to do is take the other page that has the Japanese segment and the Russian segment. Cut those two parts in half along the dotted line. Then take the Russian segment and we're going to tape that to the other end of that long piece of the space station because that is the Russian segment of the entire space station. Tape it on both ends with two pieces of tape. Now take the Japanese segment and cut along the dotted line to separate that. Now use the other toilet paper roll with end hatches you've already made. 
Now go ahead and wrap around that Japanese segment, you can tell by the red flags that are on there, and tape it with two pieces of tape at each end. Now we'll use the last toilet paper roll we haven't done anything with. Now go ahead and use the ESA and small Japanese section. Just take the piece of paper and wrap it around the toilet paper roll using just two pieces of tape on one end and two on the other. Now this is what we're going to do to make it a little different. What I want you to do is press down on the end with a long black line in the middle. Once it's flat, cut across that black line and then pop out the European side and the Japanese side. Now take the side that says ESA on it and put glue around one end. Be sure to use the hatches with holes in them. Tape them in place on both ends, put glue around the other end as well, put that in place, and put tape on that to hold it in place. There you have it. Now take the long segment of the space station. On the end where it has the American segment, you see the dots. We'll use a sharp pencil to poke in those dots. And towards the end where the Russian segment is, there are other dots. So punch a hole in each of those as well. That's where we'll slide the sticks through. Now what we're going to do is start putting it together. What I want you to do is put the large segment in front of you with the American side facing you. On the right side, we'll have the Japanese segment. Use a sharp pencil to open up the holes on each side to allow this skewer to fit all the way through. Now, once it's all the way through, leave about an inch of the wooden skewer out the other end and use the tape to wrap around that one end of wooden skewer. That keeps it from sliding all the way through. Now take the other end and slide it through those holes that you had already punched out in the United States segment of the space station. Slide it all the way in and then all you have to do is lay it down and slide the skewer in so it's tight. Now what I want you to do is take the European segment and slide that on as well. Once you've done that, take the scotch tape and wrap some tape around the other end of the wooden skewer. That keeps it all in place. Now it's time to cut out the solar panels. You'll have two sheets of solar panels. Cut those out along the dotted line and then fold each in half right along the middle. You'll notice that one side is gold looking and the other side has the solar panels. That's how the actual solar panels work on the space station. Now take one of the solar panels you folded in half and place it on one of the large pieces from the cereal box Outline it along the cereal box, just like this, and then take your scissors and cut that section out. Now do this with both of the solar panel pieces. Now that you've done that, take one of the pieces of cardboard and slide it in the middle of the solar panel, and then tape it on one side. Now if the cardboard's a little large, go ahead and trim off that piece of cardboard and re-tape it. Now that you have the cardboard and the solar panels done, take the other wooden skewer and place it on the gold side of one of the solar panels. And you'll see a center line that you can line it up with. Now just tape it to that solar panel using some tape. There you go. Now you want to slide the wooden skewer through the hole you've made in the middle of the long section of the space station. So slide it in one side all the way through and now we're going to be taping on the other solar panel. Now, as you've noticed, the one side is a little higher than the other. So get two books that are about the same dimension. Lay them under both solar panels, and now it'll be easier to attach the wooden skewer to the other solar panel. Now just tape that on, just like I'm showing you here. Now, as you can see, the stick wants to slide back and forth, so we'll have to center that. Once you have it centered, Put scotch tape around both sides of the central part of the space station on the stick. That should keep it from sliding back and forth. Now rotate the solar panels around to the other side and put a piece of tape connecting the solar panel to the stick. Do that on both sides. This will keep it much more stable. Now here's something a little bit different. Turn the space station around, get a toothpick, Get your Elmer's glue and put a little glue on one end of the toothpick and slide it between the hatch and the upper part of the space station. Leave a little bit sticking out. Now we're going to get ready to hang the model from the ceiling. Now this can be a little tricky. You can get your mom or dad to help out if you want. But get a piece of thread and make a little circle out of it. 
and then tighten it across one of the toothpicks. Now you want to do that again to make it a knot. And what you want is about two to three feet of thread for each of the sections we're going to hang. So once you pull that off, if you can't break it with your hands, go ahead and use scissors. And you want to do this for each of the pieces of wood sticking out from the three different parts of the space station. And be sure to do this for the rear end of the space station with the toothpick you have sticking out. Again, just make a circle, put it on, and make sure you tie a knot to fasten it tight and leave two to three feet of thread so you can hang it from the ceiling. Now go ahead and cut off the excess pieces of thread that you won't be needing. Now there are two ways to hang this from the ceiling. You can tie all three pieces of thread to one push pin or use three push pins for each piece of thread. Here I'm using just one push pin. What you want to do is tie each piece of thread to that one push pin using the same method you tied it to the pieces of wood. And once you have that together you can cover it with a piece of tape that keeps it from sliding off. Now we're going to put together the very last piece of the space station, the Japanese segment. This is the smaller part. Arrange the logos, the Japanese flag and the ESA flag toward the front. Now we'll want to keep those sections from rotating, so use a piece of tape to attach the outside section to the main section of the space station. Do that on both sides, and that'll keep everything very stable. Once you're done with that, I want you to get a sharp pencil and poke a hole in the top part of the outside panel of the Japanese segment. The small Japanese segment already has a hole punched in one end. So get a toothpick, slide it in the top hole on the larger piece, and then just slip the smaller piece onto the toothpick. You can glue that in place too. And now it's time to hang the space station from the ceiling. And there you have it, your own model of the International Space Station. Welcome aboard and have some fun. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for even more videos and projects.